Hi everyone and welcome, my name is David from the technical team at DLS. Today's video is just an overview of the Superstatic 440 that we've done previously. We thought in light of recent RHI activity we'd give you an update on what this meter can do and the benefits of using it for your installation. Should you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call to our sales team in our office or leave us a comment in the box below. The Superstatic 440 is the main range available from Sontex. It covers all sizes for almost any application. From 15mm up to 40mm, it's supplied as standard with a BSP union connection, providing a male thread. Then from 50mm up to 500mm, a PN16 flange is supplied as standard. For 25mm and 40mm diameter heat meters, there is also the option of the same flanged connection as well. So again, let us know if perhaps you need that as a special request. All of these meters are MID Class 2 approved. That allows them to be used for both the domestic and commercial side of the RHI tariffs, and also for billing applications in the UK as well. Part of the MID calibration is down to the measuring principle that these meters hold. Uh, they use fluid oscillation, which again, you may have seen in other videos featuring super static meters. Uh, there are no moving parts within these meters at all. So as the fluid passes through, they're simply just directed through jets to actually take a pressure measurement, and that is correlated to the volume that has passed through. Uh, due to this, there is a handy benefit with the 440 range. Uh, as part of MID guidelines, the meters would need to be recalibrated every 10 years. For most manufacturers, this would require the meter being taken out of the installation and sent back to the factory. But with the Sontex meters, the sensor heads on the top here can be removed and even replaced. Uh, providing quick recalibration on site, same day, uh, removing the need to send the meter overseas, removing lengthy carriage costs, uh, and ultimately making a much smoother installation as such. Uh, this also helps with any maintenance, uh, any, any sort of required cleaning of the meter. However, these are virtually maintenance free, and the measuring principle does allow for a very hygienic system and will be self-cleaning as such. The meters themselves are suitable for installation in either horizontal or vertical pipes, and this includes upwards and downward risers as standard. The meters are supplied with signal cable, which is connected to the integrators themselves. This comes as standard in a three meter length. Some of the larger meters you will find as standard are supplied with a 10 meter cable, but we can supply the same 10 meter cable on all options available on all sizes of the 440 meters. You will also get a pair of temperature sensors as standard. Uh, the ones we supply into the UK are PT500 resistance rated. Uh, again, they are supplied as standard with a 2 meter cable. Some of the larger variants you might see 5 meters as standard. Again, we can supply extended cables for any of the sizes, pretty much up to 10 meters, depending on what the application calls for. Again, just, just discuss it with us and we'll uh, sort out any requirements you may have. The integrators themselves, uh, again, they are calibrated to be paired with the 440s very keenly and very specifically, so they must not be split up at all from its corresponding flow part that it's supplied with. These are available with either mains power or battery power requirements. There's even low voltage versions of 24 volts AC or DC. As standard, you get an M bus and a pulsed output from the meter to, for the energy. There are also two additional module slots, which can take RS-232, BACnet, Modbus, LON, uh, analog outputs. There's a whole range of outputs that the 531s can do. Perhaps just to have a look at the data sheet or again, discuss it with us. We'd be happy to take you through it. Uh, and again, these devices all work in tandem together to provide a full heat meter suitable for RHI systems, billing, uh, any sort of low cost monitoring requirements you may have on installations. They can also be calibrated to work with glycol. This allows the meters to be used on solar thermal systems, ground source heat pumps, air source heat pumps, water source heat pumps, uh, and means the meters retain their accuracy so they can still work to that MID class two approval. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this video informative. Please subscribe to the channel, keep an eye out for our future content, and we'll see you in the next one.